Well, hey folks, welcome to the more summer 2020 adventures day 49. It is August the 13th, 2020, and we had just an absolute great day. Uh, the weather was super. I think uh, when we this afternoon when we checked the temperature, it was like 79 and maybe 20 30 percent humidity, a light breeze. It was great. Um, but it is uh, with a heavy heart uh, that I come to you tonight. Um, the Morses and the Spears will be departing tomorrow morning. Uh, we've said our goodbyes tonight uh, with the grandkids and then with Valerie and, and then, of course, with Pastor and Sister Spear when we got back here to the RV. You know, because uh, they're right next door to us. So, you know, uh, so it's, it's, it's with a heavy heart that we say goodbye. But... It's like Sister Spear said, it's not goodbye. This is until next time. Okay? So, uh, that being said, uh, you know, the hole in the heart is going to reappear, <laughs> unfortunately, but that's that's life. And uh, you know, it, was, it was such a blessing. I mean, God is so good to have put these two people into our lives. Uh, Chris and I just love them so much that uh, words just can't... Uh, can't really explain the love and 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 and, and uh, respect and admiration and and all whatever adjective you want positive adjective you want to think about uh, we have for the Spears, um, Pastor John, uh, Pastor, you know Pastor Spear, uh, you know, he's just uh, you know right there, and his wife Sister Spear, you know Michelle, uh, special people, special people. We are so thankful that God saw fit to let our paths cross to that our paths are forever in your womb. I mean, it's just a, so, hey, like I say, with a heavy heart, we're say, we, we said our goodbyes tonight. Our, our sister spirit said, you know, until next time. But, uh, you know, so he's, he's got to go to work about five in the morning and she's got to go work about seven. Now probably be by the time we get up. So, <laughs> It's all, what can I say? Hey, you know, some of us are retired and some of us are not. All right. But uh, hey, it was a great day today. Um, we sat around here uh, most of the morning and just socialized and visited and just relished each other's company. And then uh, we went over to Walla Walla and uh, they showed us, uh, well, not right now with COVID because the prison's closed, but where their prison ministry is over in Walla Walla. And, uh, you know, took us uh, around some of the other parts of, of Walla Walla and showed us the Touche River, which is an offshoot of the Columbia River. Um, and also into the Whitman Missionary Site National, uh, National Park. Okay, it's not, a, well, it's not a national park, but it's a national site registry. All right, um, and the uh, the site of the uh, uh, they call it the Whitman uh, uh, massacre or the uh, Cayuse uh, incident of 1847. Um, there were missionaries here to the Cayuse Indians, and then of course they they brought the first wagon train across the Oregon Trail. Then they stayed here, and the people from the wagon train went on, and uh, this became. You know their their mission there became a, a uh, thoroughfare, a common stop stopping place for uh, the, the travelers coming uh, west uh, on the Oregon Trail. Um, you know, and being uh, being a history buff, I I really really enjoyed it. You know, um, and uh, you know it's uh, you know it's just uh, it was a neat place, and it, it was and, and I say the day was so nice. You know. Then we came back here to the RV, and, and Chrissy fixed it. Last night, uh, Sister Spear fixed, uh, you know, a, a Mexican dish, you know, well, street tacos, you know, and they were great. Oh, man, they were really good. Um, and then tonight, uh, Chrissy did uh, did a, uh, a pork loin uh, with uh, some barbecue sauce that we had got from the uh, night butcher shop in Laurel, Mississippi. 
okay, um, back there when we visited there. Okay, uh, the first and second, or no, the second and third of, uh, of July. So, you know, uh, it, was, it was just a special day. And then, uh, then we went back into the Kennewalk this evening and took some pictures of, the, uh, of one of the 18 lighthouses that Washington State has. It was there at the Coast Guard Station. And, uh, and then uh, also the, uh, what they call the, uh, the cable bridge. Okay, there's two main bridges. One is the cable bridge and at the lights and everything on it. Some, some nice pictures. And then also the blue bridge, which the infrastructure is, is painted a, a sky blue. So that's, and you know, they talk about the cable bridge or the, or the blue bridge, you know, everybody knows what they're talking about. All right, uh, but it was just a, a good, good day. I've got to go through the pictures because I just counted and I had over 140 pictures, so I've got to whittle that down a little bit. But uh, you know, we just uh, you know, it's 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 going to be you know, I'm glad they're going to be gone before we get up because we've already said our our our, our, our see you later's, okay. But it was just you know the 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 last three days uh, have just been a godsend. I mean. It's, you know, the next big thing is, of course, is Christie's family reunion. But you know, this uh, this was uh, one of the three or four main things that we wanted to do on this trip. You know, of course, the first one was visiting with my sister and, and brother-in-law and there, and then you know, Dave and Denise and, and Bisbee, and, and having a chance to see mom before she passed. And then this one is, you know, the next one, and then of course, uh, Christie's reunion. But, uh, you know, it was just a, a really good day, a, a, a blessed day. Uh, and then uh, this evening uh, 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 before dinner, um, Chrissy, uh, well, uh, before, you know, Chrissy was started getting the dinner ready, uh, Pastor, uh, you know, had a devotion. Uh, you know, he tapes, you know, uh, tapes it in the evening and, and uh, we also uh, had communion, you know, and breaking bread as, as family, and it was it was really good, uh, you know. Uh, it was like, uh, what can I say? It was, you know, they're special people. I just, we're, you know, we're gonna miss them. We're, we are gonna miss them, you know. But uh, I say we, our three days here uh, have been a godsend. Uh, they've been a blessing. Uh, you know, I know we'll see them again, you know. But uh, still, again, it was uh, so, so, so good. You know, yesterday on the boat uh, for six hours, uh, up and down the Columbia and into the Snake, and then uh, you know over to Walla Walla today, and, and seeing some farm country. And you know, it took us actually it took us north of Kinawa, north of uh, Pasco, uh, to a place they call the Country Mercantile, and uh, of course we got some uh, some of the local favor there. You know. Uh, and then we went over to Walla Walla, and it was really good, you know. The one thing that we have not been able to do the last three nights, though, is go get ice cream. We were going to do it tonight. They closed at 8. We didn't realize that until it was already 8.30 when we were getting ready to leave because we knew because we wanted to wait until it was dark so the lights would be on on the cable bridge. All right, so, you know, they didn't get the ice cream again tonight, you know. So I guess I'll have to do some double duty or triple duty to make up for the last three days. I don't know. But, um uh, I just, uh, you know, it's, it, it's, it's going to be good. Uh, uh, it's going to be good. In fact, uh, I'm just looking here on the table. Here is one of our things that we've got today that I picked out. It's uh, Washington Wild Huckleberry Jam. All right. You know, I like, him. I like me some huckleberry. It's pretty good. <laughs> you know, it right up there with, uh, with blackberry. Okay. But, uh. You know, and I even had some huckleberry ice cream a couple of days ago. You know, and that wasn't bad either. All right, but uh, coconut still was number one. What can I say? And of course, we got some fudge and all that at that mercantile. So I got me some coconut fudge and some haystacks. You know, dark chocolate haystacks made with coconut. So you know, it was yeah. What can I say? What can I say? It's all good. That's that's become my new line. You <laughs> know, it's all good. <laughs> Praise God, it's all good. And, and speaking of that, uh, hey folks, it's in today's scripture, you know, it's First Peter, three twelve, and it says, uh, you know, for the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous, and His ears are open to their prayers. 
but the face of the Lord is against those who do evil. And then, of course, the, the common version or the short version, if you will. The eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right, and his ears are open to the prayers. But the Lord turns his face against those who do evil. 1 Peter 3, 12. You know, and, and folks, you know, that doesn't mean that uh, because you make a mistake and because you do wrong, that he's going to turn his face against you. Okay. What it's talking about is that as Christians, you know, as our Heavenly Father, He wants to hear us. He wants to not only hear our praise for Him, but also He wants to hear our needs. He wants to hear us cry, you know, ask Him for help. All right. And His eyes are on us, watching over us. You know, as believers, you know, we have all the angels in heaven at our beckoning. You may not believe that, but that's gospel. All right, that's 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 the truth. And and you know he sends those angels to protect us. So his eyes are on us, protecting us. His ears are opening, you know, to hear our prayers. And you know, not just our prayers in worship to him, but also our prayers in asking for help. Because you know, what father does not want to help their children? Okay, you know. And he turns ahead his face against those who do evil. I ain't talking about the ones we make mistakes and do bad. We're talking about the ones who do evil. You know, the non-believers who who want to ridicule you, who want to uh, make things difficult for you just in spite because of your Christian stance. You know, uh, in this this world, in this this time of inclusiveness. In, you know, diversity. Yeah. That's all good, man. You know, all, all good until your ideas go against the grain of what they want. Okay, and then they're going to come after you. All right, be prepared. Scripture. All right, but that doesn't mean you can be ugly to them. You know, Christ teaches us to love your enemies. You know. As I have left the church, all right. So I mean, you know, you got to forgive them, even though they may not forgive you, all right. But like I said, his eyes are on you, his ears are for your prayers, and he turns the face away from those who do evil. In other words, he's those who, who are doing evil. You know, he doesn't have, you know, they don't have the protection that we have as as believers, all right, and. Uh, now that doesn't mean that they won't change and won't, you know, cry out to him and, and ask for forgiveness and become a believer. Because we are, folks, I was one of the, the heathens of heathens, okay? I mean, you know, my track record ain't all that pretty, okay? It ain't all that pretty at all. So if he can come for me, I know he can come for you, all right? He turned his eyes away from me because I was doing evil. All right, but when I came to him, when he got me where he could get me, where he could get me, you know, and uh, you, know, you know, so uh, it's like uh, Pastor Spear saying, "I was beat up from the street up and tore up from the floor up." Okay, but God found me. All right, hey, y'all be blessed. Like I say, His eyes are on us. And his ears are open to our prayers. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow from someplace west of here, but still in Washington State. God bless. Bye.